I'm Peter Flagg, a geologist at the University of Texas at Austin. Before I was ever a geologist, I was a photographer. And one of the great things about geology for me is that geology takes me to these amazing places. I'm never going to get to a remote camp in the central Transantarctic mountains as a photographer. I mean, it's just not going to happen. But I can go there as a geologist for, with my job and then be there and be a photographer and get these beautiful photographs. And that's, I mean, I'm so lucky to have a job that takes me to these remote locations. You know, it's incredible. I, I just, I love it. When I go to Antarctica, I don't just see snow and, and ice and rock. I, I look at this place in a completely different way. I, I look at it as, as ancient environments preserved in the rock record. This is one of the neatest things that we found in Antarctica because as far as we know, no one has found footprints of horseshoe crabs before. And some horseshoe crabs are just walking back and forth over this mud and they were leaving these little traces, little footprints in this mud, and uh, a little bit more mud and sand piled on top of it. Steve was jumping up and down, screaming, yelling. He was so happy. He was trying to tell everybody he knew on the outcrop what we just found. He was super excited. So this was one of the best finds we had. He was blown away. So compared to today, Antarctica was warmer. It was covered in forests. It had animals insects, plants. It was, it was a completely different place than we see today. It's amazing to me that, 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 that there are no trees. You know, the closest trees are in New Zealand from this location, which is thousands of miles away. But yet here I'm standing here looking at trees in Antarctica. And it just tells us an awful lot about how climates change over time. And, you know, a place that you once was able to support a lush forest is now nothing but ice and snow and I mean that's that's really important that's a big part of our research down there this this was an amazing find by Steve again Steve Hasiotis he uh, he was on his phone talking to his daughter and uh, he looked down and facing up at him was something that if you look at this image um, I think that you can see something that almost looks like a little dog footprint like squished up at you with a series of with a pad of its foot and a series of toes and there's even what you can't really see in this image is there's even little nail imprints at the tips of some of these these toes and it's a it's a footprint of uh, what I believe is a mammal like reptile it was the best preserved footprint that we found but but it's a mammal like reptile and that's what's pretty important you know uh, is, deep, deep, deep time ancestors of human beings. This is uh, one of the, another one of the coolest finds that we found. This is a mammal-like reptile burrow. Burrowing is, a, is an adaptation for animals to get out of the elements or get away from predators, etc. So burrowing itself uh, tells you something about the a animal's habits. Uh, this, is, this is the terminal chamber of um, one of these uh, therapsid burrows. Uh, one of these mammal-like reptile burrows. These little lines that you see on both sides are actually the scratches from the, the animal actually making the burrow. Well, that really makes it come alive. It does. I mean, it just blows me away. I'm telling you. It's great. I love it. I love what I do. I wouldn't do anything else.